A La Follette man is struck and killed by a car. Caraval Police Chief Johnny Jones reports that 30-year-old James Jimmy Silcox was hit around 9.30 Friday night on the four-lane just south of Cove Lake Park. Jones explains that Silcox walked into the path of the car driven by William D. Place of Knoxville as Place was headed toward Jacksboro. Place told Jones that Silcox was in the middle of the road and that he couldn't avoid him. Chief Jones says no one knows why Silcox walked into the path of Place's vehicle. A well-known area physician has died. Dr. Roy Ellis, who just turned 82 years old last month, died yesterday afternoon in Tazewell. Ellis was a family doctor in Harrogate for more than 50 years, following in his grandfather's footsteps, who also practiced in the tri-state area for nearly 60 years. Ellis was a longtime member and former chair of the Claiborne County Board of Education. Friends say Ellis passed away at Claiborne County Hospital after a lengthy illness. It's workshop night for the La Follette City Council. Talks are expected to surround operating hours of the library, the purchase of an ATV, a bid for Splash Park, and more. The meeting begins at 6 o'clock tonight at City Hall. We want to tell you that bus number 27 did not run this afternoon and will not be running tomorrow morning. And if you're planning on voting early, remember that tomorrow is the last day that you can vote early. The early voting will end tomorrow. Their hours tomorrow are from 9 to 4 at the Election Commission office in Jacksboro. And that's the news for this Monday. Stand by. We'll be right back with the report from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department. Time now to take a look at the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department and those booked into the jail over the weekend. Cliff Justin Ayers, 28, of Pine Mountain Road, La Follette, for violation of probation and on a capious bench warrant. 34-year-old Sean Dale Bennett of North 25th Street, La Follette, for possession of drug paraphernalia, possession of a Schedule II and Schedule IV controlled substance, and violation of probation. Brandy Nicole Brewer, 27, of Rose Hill Drive, La Follette, for violation of probation. 23-year-old Penny Denise Campbell of South Cumberland Avenue, La Follette, on a capious bench warrant and possession of drug paraphernalia. Amanda Canada, 26, of West Central Avenue, La Follette, for theft of property between $500 and $999 and on a hold for Sevier County. Gary Lee Claiborne, 55, of Clinton for DUI and failure to use due care. 20-year-old Joshua Davis Dotson of Sundown Lane in Caraval for DUI, violation of the implied consent law, leaving the scene of an accident, giving false information to an officer, underage consumption of alcohol, and failure to exercise due care. Christopher Allen Emela, 28, of Vincent Estates in Jacksboro, for assault, criminal trespassing, and public intoxication. Ricky William Faulkner, 29, of Whetstone Road in Rockholes, Kentucky, was picked up and held for Whitley County. 31-year-old Tina Luann Goff, of Green Lee Lane and Jellicoe for aggravated robbery. Rocky M. Green, 54, of Rose Hill Drive, La Follette, for possession of a Schedule IV controlled substance with intent to sell and deliver, possession of a Schedule II controlled substance. Jefferson Scott Hassler, 34, 
of South Highway 25W La Follette for violation of probation on an attachment for child support, driving while suspended, reckless driving, and possession of a Schedule II controlled substance. 43-year-old Stephan Lee Hillendorf of Demry Road, La Follette, for DUI, second offense, doing 50 miles an hour in a 25-mile zone. Christine Kennedy Huckabee, 56, of Stony Fork Road, Caraville, for DUI and failure to signal and turn and stop. Michael Idles, 19, of Cherry Bottom Road in Caraville, for public intoxication and giving false information to an officer. 56-year-old Vanessa Evans Irwin of Cedar Circle in Jacksboro for DUI. Rachel Ann Eisner, 23, of South 12th Street, La Follette, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. 44-year-old Homer Samuel Ivey of Glade Springs Road, La Follette, for public intoxication. Mary Beth Ivey, 28, of Vernon Mountain Drive, La Follette, for possession of a Schedule II controlled substance and possession of drug paraphernalia. Christopher Will Kimberlin, 26, of Heck Lane, La Follette, on a capious bench warrant. 45-year-old Paul James Love of North Mountain Drive, La Follette, was brought here for a court date. Marvin Lee McGee, 52, of Mount Perrin Loop Road in Jacksboro, for domestic violence and unlawful carrying or possessing a weapon. Roger L. Moses, 54, of Glade Springs Road, La Follette, for DUI, second offense. Jackie Lee Perkins, 32, of Brown Hill Road in Jellicoe, for aggravated robbery. 32-year-old Rhonda Gale Poston of Jackson Hollow La Follette on an attachment for child support. Corey Logan Reese, 22, of Harrogate for DUI, first offense, violation of the registration law, the Tennessee financial law, the open container law, and the seatbelt law, as well as driving an unregistered vehicle and transfer register. Brian Lewis Ridner, 46, of Leach Medley Road in Speedwell, for public intoxication and possession of a Schedule IV controlled substance. 28 year old Heath S. Dermark of Sunnyview Lane, La Follette, for possession of a Schedule II controlled substance and m- possession of marijuana. Christopher Brad Shears, 21, of Stonehenge Lane for theft of property under $500. 55-year-old Billy Ray Smallwood of Stonegate Drive, La Follette, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. Carl Edward Sneed, age 40, of Rose Hill Drive, La Follette, for violation of probation on a KPS bench warrant and possession of drug paraphernalia. Daniel Ray Snyder, 33, of North Highway 25W and Duff, for driving while revoked. 65-year-old J.C. Ward of Ward Lane and Jacksboro, on a capius. Nathan E. Ward, 23, of Countryside Circle, Jacksboro, for DUI and failure to use due care. 19-year-old Michael Cody Scott Webb of Oak Street, Jacksboro for domestic assault and Roger Lee Wilson, 22, of South 8th Street, La Follette for public intoxication. And we thank you for joining us today for the news and the press release. We invite you to stay right here for lots more that will be coming your way throughout the evening.
Good Monday evening, everybody. Welcome into a new week of birthdays and anniversaries brought to you by Eastside Pizza and Deli and WLAF. Got a few belated birthdays here. Stacy Mayton celebrated 39 years old back on Saturday. Lee Marlowe, 66 years old. And Michael Lips also celebrates a birthday. Tyler Terry and uh, Eller Johnson all celebrating a birthday back there on Saturday for Sunday. Gloria Edwards celebrated a birthday. Isaac Helton. Travis Green. Judy Gully. Isaac Helton. And Donnie Brown, 72 years old, back from Sunday. And then celebrating a birthday today. Nicholas Rose celebrates one year old today. And Misty Evans celebrating a birthday today. So happy birthday to all of you. Uh, you're all qualified for our upcoming drawing this coming Friday for two free dinners from Eastside Pizza and Deli. Got no uh, anniversaries. So if your birthday or anniversary are coming up this week or if it's uh, if you celebrated that over the weekend, you can call me at 562-1450, 566-1450, or 562-3557. You can uh, email it to WLAF at BellSouth.net, or you can fax it in here to 562-5764, and that uh, qualifies you uh, at a chance of winning those two free dinners from Eastside Pizza and Deli, you just give us your name, uh, age if you want to, and your phone number, and that qualifies you, and that is it. And that is it for birthdays and anniversaries for this Monday. So I'll see you back here tomorrow, and you all have a good night, and stay tuned. Your news continues.